In this video, we're going to do a brief introduction into hypothesis testing, but specifically on how to state the null and alternative hypotheses. So let's start with this problem. Number one, company XYZ manufactures calculators with an average mass of 450 grams. An engineer believes that average weight to be different and decides to calculate the average mass of 50 calculators. State the null and alternative hypotheses. So let's start with the null hypothesis. The symbol that corresponds to the null hypothesis is H sub zero. Now the null hypothesis is basically the status quo. It's the claim. It's the current accepted value that the majority of people holds to be true. Now, the alternative hypothesis is basically the contender. It's contradictory to the null hypothesis. It has a symbol H sub A. It's what the researcher tries to prove in order to disprove the null hypothesis. If he fails to disprove it, that means the null hypothesis is likely to be correct. So now let's talk about how we can state it. The first thing you want to determine is if you're dealing with a mean or a proportion. Here we have a keyword average mass. So we're dealing with the mean represented by the symbol mu. Now, if you hear the word percentage, that means you're dealing with a proportion. So the company manufactures calculators with an average mass of 450. So the accepted mean of the calculators is an average of 450. The researcher believes this to be different. So he believes that the average weight or the average mass is not 450 grams. So that is the alternative hypothesis. For the sake of practice, let's try another example. You can pause the video and try if you want to. Number two, the teachers in a school believes that at least 80% of students will complete high school. A student disagrees with this value and decides to conduct a test. State the null and alternative hypotheses. So let's start with a null hypothesis. The status quo, or the current accepted value, is 80%, or rather at least 80%. So the teachers in this school believe that at least 80% of students will complete high school. Since we're dealing with a I mean percentage, this is going to be a proportion. So at least 80% means it could be 80% or more. So therefore, the proportion is going to be equal to or greater than 0 0.80, which is the decimal equivalent of 80%. Now, the student disagrees with this value. That means that the student believes it's less than 80%. It's not equal to or greater than 80%. So for the alternative hypothesis, P is going to be less than 0 0.80. And as you can see, it doesn't require too much in order to state the null and alternative hypotheses. So this is the answer for this problem. Number three, a teacher wishes to test if the average GPA of students in the high school is different from 2.7. State the null and alternative hypotheses. So what can we say regarding HO and HA? Now for this one, it might be better to start with HA. This is what the researcher is trying to prove. In this case, the teacher wants to prove that the average GPA of students is different from 2.7. So the teacher believes that we're dealing with a mean, not a proportion, so we're gonna use the symbol mu. The teacher believes that the average GPA is not 2.7, which means that the status quo or the accepted value is 2.7. So the null hypothesis 
is that the mean is 2.7, but the alternative hypothesis, what the teacher is trying to prove, is that it's different or not 2.7. So that's it for number three. Number four, the percentage of residents who own a vehicle in town XYZ is no more than 75%. A researcher disagrees with the value and decides to survey 100 residents asking them if they own a vehicle. State the null and alternative hypotheses. So what is the status quo here? The accepted value is no more than 75%, and we're dealing with a percentage. So the proportion of residents who own a vehicle in this town is no more than 75%. So let's think about what that means. That means it can be equal to 75%, but not greater than, which means it could be less than 75%. So it's going to be less than or equal to 0.75, or 75% as a decimal. The researcher wants to disprove this, uh, this fact, or this hypothesis, rather. And so he decides to survey 100 residents. So he believes that it is greater than 75%. So I put the equal sign, but it's just greater than, not equal to. So P is greater than 0.75. That is the alternative hypothesis. That's what the researcher is trying to prove in order to disprove or nullify the null hypothesis. So that's the answer for this problem.